Hey friends, Abby here from Metal by Abby. I really love black and silver jewelry and I've noticed a lot of you guys do too. When you have black and silver, it's like a purposeful tarnish on the ring. But every time you put your hand in your pocket or brush up against fabric or something, you're basically polishing that off. So it doesn't always last long and I wanna help you keep it looking fresh. So here's how you do it. You're gonna need a few supplies. Soap, dish soap is best, but hand soap will work or body soap tongs, plastic, not metal. Now these are metal, but they have plastic tips. We don't want to put any metal in the solution. A toothbrush or soft brush, a glass cup, sulfur, we'll get onto that one, a polishing cloth, and maybe a paintbrush. Stinky old sulfur. Liver of sulfur extended life gel. You can get this on Amazon. I've had this bottle for almost three years now, and I don't know, I think I've maybe used two thirds of it. It lasts longer and it isn't as stinky as some of the other ones I've used. A quick note about safety. Don't get it in your eyes. Don't get it on your fingers. If you do, go ahead and wash real good with soap. You're not gonna wanna drink this. It's gonna smell really bad anyway. You're gonna want good airflow. If you can open up a window, if you can do it outside, if you've got a good fan, something like that. Step one, wash it up. If there's any grease or fingerprints or anything on your ring, you're gonna get splotchies. So, I'm just trying to get in and around everywhere. This is also a great way to just clean your jewelry. And you can't be too careful with getting it clean enough. Circular motions, pretend like it's your teeth. And then you wanna make sure that you do a really good job of rinsing all of the soap off because it would be like residue. So you don't wanna to try to wash the grease off and then have just a bunch of soap on there. So, looking good. Um, I can kinda of just shake it off and I usually lay things down on a towel. I'm ready for step two. All right, so it comes with this little click top. Don't use that. It becomes a terrible, horrible mess. Just unscrew the top. Don't get any water in here. So if you have some plastic tweezers, that's ideal. You could also use like a wooden dowel to get stuff out, um, but you're not gonna wanna put any metal other than your jewelry in contact with this because it makes it less effective. So I'm gonna just use a very small amount. Just, you know, like a drop. I'm going to mix it with some warm water, just a little bit. So you want it to look kind of like this, this goldeny yellow. Right, so now I'm ready to put my jewelry in there. So it's been freshly scrubbed and cleaned. I'm gonna drop it in. You do not wanna leave this sitting in here too long, but you do wanna let it go low and slow. That way your silver stays shiny. So I recommend setting a timer for five minutes, checking on it, and then maybe another five minutes, and then maybe three minutes from there on. I recommend petting the dog while you wait. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and see how we're doing, and I'll show you the final step. Ha! Ah, so we went slow and we still have our shine. It's nice and black. On the back, it still needs a little bit more, so I'll probably just put it back in there. But I wanna go ahead and show you what we're working with. Wow. That really changes it. You can leave it like this. It's nice and shiny. You can also buff it a little bit with a silver polishing cloth. So what I need to do is dry it off first. All right, we've got a nice dry ring and we've also got a nice well-worn polishing cloth. You can use these things forever. <laughs> Mine's got holes in it and everything. Like it just, it's gonna keep on working. So I'm just doing a light little buff and that'll give it a little bit of a shine. Just be mindful of what you're doing. Don't don't press on the jewelry too hard. Um, light and steady is the trick. So you can see the prongs are a little bit more bright white now on the tips. So that just gives it a little bit of contrast. I think I'm gonna leave it this way because I like it like that. And just to give you a little before and after, here is the black. And I made a similar one and kept it bright white. So the moonstone really pops. The blue really comes out with that black in there. It's not the easiest thing to remove. So if you do this, know that you're probably never going to get all that blackening out. You can take it to a jeweler and have them, if they have a magnetic tumbler, throw it in there and it'll get most of it out. Um, chemical cleaners designed to remove tarnish will get some of it out, but if you left it in too long, it might come out looking kind of dull. So just be careful. When you're all done, 
You can rinse it down the drain. You need to flush it with lots of water. Fill it up and... All right, I hate to do this, but this is just an educational video. <laughs> and if you damage your jewelry, I'm not liable. As a word of caution, I would be wary of doing this technique with any soft stones, such as pearls or opals. Those are our gentle friends that are not really gonna get along well with chemicals such as sulfur. So you can try just brushing it on with a paintbrush and avoiding the stones. Um, it's a lot easier to get it on your hands that way, so just be prepared. Dogs make it better. Whoa.